Hi everybody, welcome back, Astro AF. Uh, so this video, I'm going to do a little bit of a self Q and A about whether or not you want to get into purchasing a star tracker versus purchasing an actual telescope mount. So uh, first of all, um, I'm going to bring this one up again because that's my new baby. I just got it, the Sky Guider Pro from iOptron. This was a little more costly than I thought it was going to be, mainly because it has the the iPolar camera built into it. So this did run a, a little bit more to the point where I, I would almost say if you were looking at, if you didn't already own a Star Tracker, for the, all, nearly the same price, save up a little bit more and and buy a telescope mount. I know you can get a brand new Celestron AVX mount for $900, whereas you're going to get a brand new uh, Skyguider Pro. Granted, it has all the accessories, minus a tripod for $600. So that's that's one of the other, other issues, I think, that I would run into if I were first purchasing is what does the AVX have? The AVX has the tripod, the mount, the hand controller, the counterweights, everything that you need minus the telescope. The Skyguider Pro has the mount, the counterweights, no hand controller, not that you need one with this one. It comes as, it, there, it's a possible accessory, it has limited function, not worth it. Okay, it's $180, not worth it. If you have a C-Gem or one of their other, uh, not C-Gem, if you have one of their other mounts, it will work, but not with this. So steer clear of that. But other than that, you still need a tripod. You still need the scope. So for this, uh, roughly the same amount of, of money, I would just get a telescope mount. So... I have the AVX. I'm looking to maybe move up to the, the C-Gem. But for right now, I'm happy with with what I have. My hand controller did die. Uh, but friends at Celestron, they, I was still under warranty. They, We quickly troubleshot what the issue was, and they sent me out a hand controller in the next day. So I, I'm waiting to test it out on a, on a clear sky. I got a little distracted with my new toy here, but um, yeah, if if you're gonna go, if you're if you're thinking one way or the other, you know, you still have to buy, you still have to buy the telescope. So along with all your other accessories, and a mount's gonna last you a lot more time or a longer time in the long run than a Star Tracker will. The the mount, the, the telescope mount is a go-to. So if I have everything set up correctly, I can put in, you know, M51 and it'll take me to M51 and it'll, it'll let me track that if I have everything set up right. Whereas this, I have to manually put it all in and, and point where I want it to shoot and it'll just track. And like I said, long, you know, short exposures where telescope mount is going to let me take longer exposures for a longer amount of time as it as it follows the destination that I set uh, so I think for the price um, I know a lot of people say save up get a good telescope mount I think you know I as a beginner you're not going to want to save up $2,500 just for a telescope mount because once again you still have to buy the telescope. And depending on what you want, you're still talking another possibly couple thousand dollars. So I would still get get a, a decent one, or if you can find a good used one. Uh, I buy used stuff all the time. I love it. It's, it's my favorite thing. And that's actually going to be the next video that I shoot. So all in all, Star Tracker versus Telescope Mount. I would go telescope mount. It's portable enough. 
it's around the same price tag unless you're talking about true true uh maneuverability i mean you can take this thing anywhere but you're still limited uh to what it is that you're going to be shooting so all in all that's my two cents all right we'll see you later